Hello kids, Steve coming back at you with Thursday's Things of Interest. Now for today, what interests me a lot, even though I don't decorate the holidays, especially Christmas, I love Christmas ornaments. So I'll show you some of my favorite ones that I have pulled out. First we have Darth Vader. It's plastic. But it's pretty cool to go along with the plastic R2-D2. Nice. Nice ornaments. Enjoy those given to me by a very good friend of mine. Natalie, thank you. She also gave me this one for The Force Awakens. I think that's really cool. Then we got Ray and everybody, Kylo Ren. And then pretty heavy. Darth Vader ornament. That one is, is nice, sharp, and detailed. Look at that. And from, from there, I think we shall go into some of the other round ones I got. That just the traditionals, you know, except for Dale Earnhardt Sr. and Jr., both in the NASCAR Hall of Fame. Both some of my favorite drivers of all times. And they're from the NASCAR Collectibles line. Those were given to me by June and Jay O'Heigel over at the Keyhole Tavern. Again, good friends of mine. This one is worth some money. It's the original light up, makes noise, Hallmark keepsake of the NC-1701 Star Trek Enterprise in the box, all there. And again, it's a great ornament, and I love it, love it, love it. That was given to me by my parents. I do love poker, so of course, I was gifted a poker holiday jackpot Christmas ornament. That's pretty cool. You can even see it has the back of the cards and everything in there. So that's a nice one. Back here, I love grilling and smoking out foods. And I like drinking my beer. I was gifted a license to grill and the wheels do not move, which is fine. Because when you're hanging from a tree, where are you going to go anyway? But it's a nice grill. It's even got the utensils. Hanging off, got a hamburger, it's real nice. Again, pretty detailed if you look at the grill and everything, that's really pretty cool. Now, one of my favorite, if not my all time favorite artist of all time, I was gifted this as well a Norman Rockwell hanging Christmas ornament. Now, the light. It, it works, but it does need a battery. So you try me and it doesn't do anything. I do. I have Norman Rockwell items all around. Pictures and sculptures and plates and mugs and rubber stamps. Postcards, magnets, you name it. But I do like Christmas ornaments and Norman Rockwell. Can't go wrong, and the Norman Rockwell Museum is up in Wisconsin near Ironton. And these here, every year my parents give all of us kids different ornaments. They go to, I believe, Christmas Mountain and have them made up special. So here's one from 2013. So I'll be eight years old this year. I love fishing, so there's Fisherman Steve. Merry Christmas with the fishy there. The one that got away, which does not happen very often. I have pictures and videos to prove. I can catch the biggins too. One of my favorites. Look at that. Merry Christmas and make America great again. Really cool. Handmade again by the Christmas shop over in was it Sevierville, Tennessee, Gatlinburg, it's in that area. And over here, this year, 2020, Santa with the mask. 
Ho, ho, heck, heck, heck. Pretty funny to go right along with. The one of me, and it says on it for Christmas, COVID. I finally found TP. I need TP for my bunghole. There I am with the mask. So very, very awesome. And finally, a couple years ago, this one here in 2015. Because I love monkeys and on a lot of stuff, I'm known as Monkey Fat. PH, Monkey Fat. They had made for me a nice, <laughs> intricate with a moving tail and everything, monkey ornament. Again, I don't even have a tree or decorate. I just love ornaments and I love um, the content of these. And you may be asking yourself, or maybe if you're smart, you're not, what else interests Steve? Well, Steve loves mail. Things of interest, there again is my address for anyone that would like to participate. Today's mail comes from Micro Condoms for the little guy. Apparently someone does not know me that well, but we'll see what little gift they gave me. As you can tell, it's a small gift. So apparently they were thinking. And inside, got everything. We have, to begin with, oh yes, my girl. Wow. Wow, nice. Okay. We have Fidel Castro. That's not my girl. It's not anyone's girl, but I do love controversial. That's an exclusive one of one. Hey, look at that. Paul Molitor. Look at that. That's an exclusive one of one. Very nice. Taylor Swift. That is a one of one. Paige from WWE. And another exclusive one of one. There's my girl, Christina Ricci. Cannot have too many Christina Ricci items anywhere. A buddy of mine, his girlfriend, did an oil painting of her. That's hanging in my bedroom. I have an autographed 8x10 of her. I have other cards and stuff and every movie of her. These are both exclusive one of ones. So thank you very much. Now in this here pack, we will do our best to get this open so I can show you what we got here. That should do it. We will pop out. Looks like we got a couple of nice, nice cards here from Flare, Flare Flare. Ooh, Reed Richards. Don't recognize this cat here. Origin of Alpha Flight. These are such nice thick cards. The Alpha Flight with the comic book on the back. Same with Reed Richards. These are awesome. Nice cards. Nice, nice cards. And to end it, we got another pack of collectible trading cards featuring the Lost Jedi. Not quite sure what these are going to entail, but I bet you they're going to be good and fun. Oh, I see something special in here. <laughs> I see where they're going right away. We have Prince with the purple lightsaber. That's awesome. We have the Doctor. I would like a set of... All the different doctors with lightsabers from one on up. Oh, uh, we have Amber. Can you see her lightsaber? You see it? Do you see it? Oh, there, there it is. We have Brooklyn Decker. That's pretty cool. Princess Anna. That's a nice Mandalorian. Almost takes the place of Boba Fett, along with Princess Elsa. These are always really well done. I do love them. We have another The Doctor from Doctor Who. Oh, nice. 
I got the Minneapolis Exclusive Purple Edition, The Lost Jedi Prince. They all have a story on them, but it would take me just so long to read them all to you. I get a kick out of them, though. They're great. The Purple Prince. That's that's pretty cool. We'll show you the Raskelnikov Lost Jedi. I will read that one because some of you actually have met and know who Raskelnikov is. A koala from the Hoth-like tundra of Siberia, Raskelnikov began training in the Jedi arts the moment he crawled out of the pouch. Raskelnikov's travels and exploits are heralded throughout the galaxy, and he is the only koala to have achieved the level of Jedi Master. Nice touch with the two sons in the background of Tatooine. That's pretty awesome. And I do like these here. These exclusive cards. I got the Boba Fett, a Jawa, a couple others. And if you're watching, the one that I really want like this was the very first Star Wars figure I had when they came out in the spring of 78 was the Stormtrooper. That was my first ever figure given to me by my parents. I think that would be another cool one to have. The the old school Kenner proof of purchase is just just awesome too. So thank you all for watching. Thank you for the nice haul. And I would like to remind everybody to be excellent to each other all the time. Not just when you feel like it, but always. Go out there, be a fruitful part of humanity. Um, avoid the noids. They're hard when they keep showing up. But avoid the noid. Hulk, smash that like button. It helps everybody involved. Make sure you be cool and keep your stick on the ice because we're all in this together. And above all else, people, if nothing else, remember, peace.